But shalom, everybody. It's Lona Michelle Taylor out here in San Jacinto, California. It is uh, February 14th in Shabbat, and the sun is shining out here in Southern California. Uh, it's a blessed day. Um, today, I decided to come out and uh, do a, a short video and read a chapter out of the Proverbs, which is one of my favorite books. If you're into self-development or trying to um, figure out some answers in your spiritual walk, Proverbs is a really good self-development book. It has a lot of wisdom, and it's, it's, fun, to, it's fun to read, too. So, anyway, I wanted to get into reading um, Chapter 2, since I did Chapter 1 the last time. I'm going to my glasses on here, so I can see, see my, uh, my Bible here. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, say a little word of prayer before I started. You know, Father, I just ask that you would um, be with uh, us. Right now, as we are gathered here together to read the scriptures, I pray that you would uh, help each and every one of us to do the things that we have in our life that we need to change, things we need to clean, to walk more in your ways, and to spread your love to everyone we come in contact with. In God's name, amen. So, I am reading out of the scriptures version, which is uh, from the Institute for Scripture Research in South Africa, published and distributed by. And it's a really cool Bible because it has all of the, um, the name of Yah in Hebrew lettering. And also the names of the books are in, I call Hebrewish, like Shemot is spelled in English letters, but pronounced it Hebrew. Anyway, Proverbs is Mishle in Hebrew. And we're going to be reading uh, out of chapter 2. My son, if you accept my words and treasure up my commands with you, so that you make your ear intend to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding, for if you cry for discernment, lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasures, then you would understand the fear of Yahuwah and find the knowledge of Elohim. For Yahuwah gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. And he treasures up stability for the straight, to shield to those walking blamelessly, to watch over the paths of the right ruling and the way of his kind ones who guard. Then you would understand righteousness and right ruling and straightness. Every good path, for wisdom would enter your heart, and knowledge be pleasant to your being. Discretion would guard you. Understanding would watch over you, to deliver you from the evil way, from the man who speaks perversity. Those who leave the paths of straightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil, they delight in the perversities of evil whose paths are crooked, and they are perverted in their ways, to deliver you from the strange woman, from the foreigner who flatters with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth, and has forgotten the covenant of her Elohim. For her house has sunk down to death, and her paths to the death. None going into her house does return, nor do they reach the paths of life. So walk in the way of goodness, and guard the paths of righteousness. For the straight shall dwell in the earth, and the perfect be left in it. But the wrong shall be cut off from the earth, and the treacherous ones plucked out of it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 3 also, because it kind of continues on. My son, do not forget my Torah, and let your heart watch over my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they add to you. Let not kindness and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Thus, finding favor and good insight in the eyes of Elohim and man. Trust in Yahuwah with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. Know him, and acknowledge him in all your ways, and he makes all your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahuwah and turn away from evil. It is healing to your navel. 
and moistening to your bones. Esteem Yahuwah with your goods and with the first fruits of all your increase. Then your storehouses shall be filled with plenty and your vats overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the discipline of Yahuwah and do not loathe his reproof. For whom Yahuwah loves, he reproves. As a father, the son whom he delights in. Blessed is the man who has found wisdom and the man who gets understanding. For the gain from it is better than gain from silver and its increase than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all your delights are comparable, are not comparable to her. Length of days is in her right hand. Riches and esteem are in her left hand. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those taking hold of her, and blessed are those are all those who retain her. Yahuwah founded the earth by wisdom. He established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up, and clouds dropped, the, dropped down the dew. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Watch over sound wisdom and discretion. Then they become life to your being and an adorning, adorning to your neck. Then you would walk safely in your way and your foot would not stumble. When you lie down, you need not be afraid. And you shall lie down and your sleep shall be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden dread, nor of the ruin of the wrong when it comes. For Yahuwah is at your side and he shall guard your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I give it, when you have it with you. Do not plan evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwells safely beside you. Do not strive with a man without a cause, if he has done you no evil. Do not envy a cruel man, and choose none of his ways, for the perverse one is an abomination to Yahuwah, and his secret counsel is with the straight. The curse of Yahuwah is on the house of the wrong, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He certainly scoffs the scoffers, but gives favor to the humble. The wise do inherit esteem, but fools are bearing away shame. And so that's chapter 2 and chapter 3 of Proverbs. Pretty interesting. Um, give me your feedback on the comments below, and maybe we can do a little discussion today on what you got out of this. What I'm seeing is that when we find the knowledge of Elohim and we search out the ways of God, we will be blessed and highly favored and have a scheme and walk in righteous ways. Because his ways are righteous and pure. And riches and esteem are with him, it says, also. So, um, it's saying, blessed is the man who has found wisdom and the, and the man who gets understanding. And so, when we have understanding of other people that are in our lives, like maybe we don't, you know, understand maybe why somebody does certain things, but when we seek the Father, the creator of the universe, he has all wisdom and all knowledge, and he will impart on you that wisdom and knowledge when you speak, you shall find. So with that, I'm going to say you're blessed and highly favored. Have a great Shabbat, and I'll talk to you again on the next video. Bye, Shalom.